Hello and welcome to Econ 201 Microeconomics. This term we're going to learn about uh, microeconomics and we're going to be using an open resource uh, textbook. It's going to be from the website OpenStax. So that's going to be something new maybe that you might not have experienced before in a class. Um, if you're taking this class online or live, we're going to use the same textbook. There's going to be a, a slight difference. If you're going to take it live, we are going to be doing the workout problems and everything in class. And if you're going to be doing it online, then we have um, some extra required discussions uh, on the discussion board. And uh, we're going to be doing the workout problems. I'm going to be uploading videos to uh, the Blackboard site. So those are just a few differences. But uh, this is the course. Let's go ahead. And I have the uh, web page or the Blackboard page up here to walk through. So there's going to be a start here video. Start here is where we're going to uh, what you're going to see first when you bring up the Blackboard site. Uh, this video, of course, if you're, if you're watching it, you already found it. The welcome announcement has some instructions on how to get started on a few different um, pieces of the course. Concept Coach is, is actually a tool that accompanies the textbook, the OpenStax textbook. It's a study tool that's going to help you get through the material and kind of quiz yourself, make sure you're understanding the material as you go through it. Also here on the Start Here menu, there's uh, an intro link to the textbook with a link that goes out to the website. So the textbook for this class is free. So if you use it online or if you use the PDF version, you don't have to pay anything for it. There's also other versions out there. There's versions that you can download onto an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone, iPod, that it costs you a little bit. Um, it, and you can have it in that version as well if you like it, but you have to pay some money. There's also a version or the, a hard copy that you can get at the text uh, at the bookstore from TVCC and that or on Amazon if you want to order it off of Amazon and it's about thirty dollars. It's a high quality textbook. It's a really nice textbook um, if you like to have a hard copy version in your hands. Okay, and there's also um, virtual office link on here. What that is is if you need to talk to me uh, and you can't come in, if you're taking a, a, the online class especially, if you can't, if you need to talk to me, we need to work through some of the, the workout problems for example, we can do that virtually online and you just need to call me, email me and set up a time with me and we'll both log in together and have that available. Okay, so let's go back to the welcome announcement really quick. So the welcome announcement uh, lets us know what is going to be graded, what's going to be part of the course. Okay, and so the uh, the syllabus will also show us that. Okay, so we can also go to the syllabus link, which is up here in the blue links on the left. It's a, a uh, there's the syllabus link and the schedule link that'll let us know all this stuff as well. So for the syllabus. <clears throat> or for the, the things that are going to be in the course, we're going to have concept coach study assignments for the chapter. So that's really just study assignments. It's really a give, some give me points for doing that. So you go in, uh, here's the link over to on the right side of that, and you go to the online textbook, and there's a concept coach login. You have to put the uh, password that's uh, applicable to your section and I, I give that in the instructions that you're yeah you can click on here and it'll tell you what the the password is so let me let me bring it up here just really quick so you can see it so so here's the password for a, a section that we have so this is an online section this time if you have the live section fall 2016 it's going to be different but this this uh password is apparent dialogue right up here, right? So a parent dialog is the code that you're gonna put in. It also gives you a, uh, a website that you can that you can put into a, a link if you wanna go through it that way. Um, there's links in the course as well that you can use. And the concept coach really is you study, you read through the material, you answer some questions, and by answering the questions, 
it logs it in that you went through and studied that part of the uh, textbook and then I'll be able to give you the points for that assignment. So that's kind of how you submit it is by do answering the questions then I'll give you points for the for going through the study portion. Number two here, uh, weekly workout problems. So weekly workout problems for the live classes we're going to be doing in we're going to be doing them in class. For the online classes, I'm going to be posting some videos. Really want you to attempt the workout problems on your own. So when we do them in class, that's the first thing I'm going to say to the students. I'm going to say, okay, work it out. Tell me what you got. And I, the the real idea is, is you need to be learning. You need to you need to figure out how to do these workout problems on your own uh, so you can do them on the exam because these workout problems you see here you're going to see them a variation of them on the exam later and that's really when they're going to count for uh, lots more points for your grade okay so if you do them online make sure to try them before you watch the video okay so there's also um, a term project blog post that you need to do. You need to do four posts and there's some instructions on how to do that as well in, in the um, Blackboard site. So that's that's the term project. I used to have students do a big term project paper uh, but I found that the blog posts are much more interesting and it helps us break down what we're learning in the course and plug it into our blog posts which are really cool. Some students do their blogs using like uh, WordPress or Blogger, that's fine. You can also use the blog tool that's here on Blackboard and and do a blog that way, okay? There's also three exams that are, that are gonna be a uh, part of the course. So these three exams, exam one, two, and three, are going to be uh, if, if you're gonna, they're gonna be in class if you're taking a live class, so you need to do them in class. If you're taking an online class, they're gonna be in the T TVCC testing center or with an approved proctor. So make sure you have that approved proctor set up. If you can't come into the TVCC, TVCC testing center and you're an online student, okay? So hopefully that makes sense for you. And I'm gonna, there's information in the Blackboard site as well on how to do that. You just need to go to the TVCC Testing Center webpage, contact them, set it up. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, so anyways, so that's 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 basically how you're graded for the course. All those things for online. There's also going to be additional points that are required for discussion posts. Okay. The live students aren't necessarily going to have to do those. Okay. But uh, but the, our, the online students, I I need to include that in there so that they can uh, get the benefit of, of having the discussion like, like we have in class okay all right so let's go ahead and open up uh, so so the way that this course is divided up so we have three units a B and C with each within each unit so let's go ahead and click on unit a here for example it's gonna have a certain number of chapters in the unit so this uh, unit A has four chapters in the unit, right? So at the end of each unit, there are three exams, right? At the end of each unit, you are tested, okay? So this, the first exam that we have is gonna be over the first four chapters, okay? And there's also the blog posts are in the units. Uh, roughly, it's, it's timed according to when you're supposed to be doing those blog posts, okay? For your project, your term project. You go into like, for example, chapter one here, uh, there's going to be the discussions, the concept coach links, uh, there's some supporting chapter videos that are available to you for lectures, and if you're online, it's gonna be the workout problem videos. <clears throat> A workout problem link where you can submit your workout problem uh, for grading. And then there's other supporting things. So this is kind of extra credit progress check for the chapter, other things that may help you out. Okay, so there's also, let me just open this up real quick, just so you know where it is, because this is an important part of the chapter or important part of the course. Usually you get this in a live course. Uh, if you're taking it online, it's important to know that the syllabus, okay, is available. Uh, this is the syllabus. At the top of the syllabus has my information, my office hours. If you're online or anybody really, if you want to schedule a separate appointment, send me an email, call me, we can set it up. Uh, grading is, is laid out here, as well as uh, other 
other types of uh, things you need to be in compliance with, of course, honesty, academic honesty. You know, most of these things are group projects. You can work on them as a group. Really, the only thing that's not a group project uh, is your exams, and they're set so you can't, you know, necessarily cooperate on those. Uh, but everything else, pretty much, you can cooperate on. Uh, submit your own work, though after you get done cooperating. And then this is, the, this is the schedule that breaks down kind of the 11 week term and how everything's laid out in the term. The online course, I'll definitely tell you, uh, the, the worst thing with an online course is, is sometimes people are tempted to fall behind and to be laxed with it. Don't do that, stay up on the course. Uh, if, if, if at all possible, stay ahead in the course. And that way, if you run into any bumps or something uh, comes up that takes your time away that you'll be already uh, on schedule and moving ahead with the course so you can uh, be prepared on that. So anyways this is the intro video I just wanted to introduce the course and myself I'm Mr. Bell it's great to have you in the course if you have any questions email me call me come into my office I'm in Barber Hall on uh, the Ontario campus and we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.